What's happening everyone? My name's Will. I'm one of your teachers at EnglishGroove.com. This is the Roadless Real English Course video story number two. Now this lesson comes from my Road Trip India project. For this project, I traveled to India with my friend and photographer Mitsui Masashi. We started in the big touristy city of Calcutta, traveled south to the fishing villages of Puri, and then into the foothills and the tribal areas of Orissa, meeting interesting people and collecting interesting stories all along the way. We had an amazing time, and now I want to share those stories with you. But remember, this video story is 100% real English. You might not understand everything the first time. No problem. Watch the video story two, three times. Follow the active learning method day by day. You come back to review this video story. You will be able to watch, listen, and understand. Okay, roadless video story number two, Road Trip India Project, story one of 12, check it. Driving into the city of Calcutta, you know immediately that you're in a different world. Now this is India, man, for sure. And this city is as India as it gets. I guess I should call it Kolkata since Calcutta is the old British name. I could also call it dangerous. The traffic, the noise, the heat and pollution are intense. After only five minutes walking on the streets, I was almost run over by a speeding bus. Not good. Life in the streets and life on the streets are the best and worst things about this city. The people, the music, the rickshaws, and the business of day-to-day -day life. It's all out in the open for you to watch and listen to and enjoy. When you come to India, you're always taking a few steps back in time. You're just never gonna see a herd of goats moving down a city street in London or Tokyo, or even Bangkok for that matter. But in Kolkata, it's life as usual for the 15 million people who call this city home. And what an unusual life it is. supposed to be the lungs of Calcutta because it's a patch of green. People play football and play cricket, but the coolest thing is behind me. We're separated by this barbed wire fence. And Masashi and I were thinking, well, what's what's with the barbed wire? There's some people on side of the, this side of the barbed wire, and we're on this side of the barbed wire. And then we noticed many Indian guys just standing along the fence looking inside and we're thinking, what are they looking at? What? <laughs> and then we noticed that on that side of the barbed wire, it's like the lover's park. I mean, not really making love, but sitting, holding hands. The poor saps on this, on this side, it's all guys holding hands with each other. But on that side, as we're going to focus in in a minute, it's, uh, it's normal. Guy and a girl kissing or holding hands or talking closely and the guys over here are, are watching it like it's a Bollywood movie. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's like totally cool and totally fucked up at the same time. So we're gonna shoot some pictures of the young lovers and shoot some pictures of these guys 
We had to charge them to watch. I think you should charge to watch over the bob wire. No, it's, it's totally cool, but that it gives you some idea of the, the mentality here in India when it comes to boys and girls together. It's still serious taboo in public. Yeah? So this place is cool. I'm gonna watch. <laughs> All right. Kolkata is known as the cultural capital of India because many famous artists, writers, and poets come from the city. For me, the best thing about it was the fresh sugarcane juice served over ice with lime. It's absolutely fantastic and refreshing on a hot day. And every day is hot in Kolkata. The life starts early and the days are long. And after two days, it was time for us to move on. I wasn't there long enough to say I know the city, but I have my first impressions. The people are colorful and full of life and song, but it's not an easy life. The poverty is unbelievable. But we should remember what Mother Teresa once said, that loneliness is the most terrible poverty. And she gave her life and soul to this city, and she knew it well. It's true that thousands of people live, work, and eat on the streets, but there are so many of them that they never do it alone. They live with a certain sense of togetherness and community. They are terribly poor, but at least they are not lonely. We got on a train and headed south to Arissa. So that was it, video story number two, my impressions of Calcutta. Now remember, the lesson question is, tell us your impressions of some interesting place. Watch this video two or three times, follow the active learning method day by day, and come to the website and tell us your impressions of some interesting place. So thanks for watching, and until next week, Video story 003, see ya.